Hello everyone, this is Prashant. So continuing in our playlist, this is our third video. Here we will be continuing with some of the basic SQL queries that we have learned in our last video. Right? So first of all, I would like to tell you that this video will be very crucial for you as a data analyst or a machine learning engineer when you are learning SQL. The reason you will be knowing when you get through the video completely. So first of all, let us understand what is this data type all about the sample data set that we have taken i have attached the link of this data set in my github and the link is there in description go get it there and let us study what is this data all about so yeah this has been a modified data set. data set it is a world it is it has been taken from world energy statistics 2019 uh, the only thing that i have altered is time of production i have added it with some of the real time the reason being, I wanted to show you something that you will be getting to know later on this video. So yeah, first of all, we will see what are the column names that we have here. What are the columns? So we have location, we have indicator, we have volume, value of production and time of production, right? So starting with our first query, that is select. It is very important query. Uh, select. So yeah, we will be starting with that. Um, select. Indicator. Indicator, indicator from T uh, oil production. Yeah. So yeah, what did it do? It just went to our table and it has just asked it select the indicator from T oil production. So from T oil production, it just took out all the values that were inserted in this column of indicator, right? It just went to the table and run has run our query. The query was select indicator from T oil production. So as you can see, we have fetched it. So don't get confused with this fetched 100 rows or something. It will fetch all the rows. It is just showing 50 rows once we have scrolled down to the first 50. Right. So it will get on increasing till you reach the last row. So yeah, it has actually fetched all of those rows. Now, if we also want to fetch the value of production, value, value product, right? And we'll run it. So yeah, value of production has been fetched. It, what did it do? It just went to our table and has fetched all the values that were present in value product. And what if I also want to fetch time of, yeah, so you'll get the suggestion if once once you have once you have mentioned the table name here you will start getting the uh, all the suggestions over here right so yeah time of production so now see what if you get all the data set in a python file uh, let's say for in a data frame or what if you get all of these data just think of it as a data frame what if you fetch all of these data in a data frame it will get very easy for you to work on the data set right so you can do it on any dynamic data on any real time data you can just fetch it with the just select state select query so that is the reason i'm telling you this this video will be very crucial for you as a data analyst or a machine learning engineer it will be the basis of learning of all the sql queries right select indicator now just i'll tell you what are the diff i'll show you one of the very important problem that you'll face now what if i want to fetch all the location and value of production location and value of production right so i'll go first of all let us try to fetch location select location from t oil production right now we have run it. can you see there is a error you know why the reason is the name that you have set location location is just working as a predefined variable name like uh, in matlab in as in python the variable names such as sign cost they are not taken because they are predefined and exactly it is working the location is working same here so now what we can do is there are two options if you want to read location just make it a string here and uh, then run it wait 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 not here just yeah yeah so i've made a string and see you can run it and the other ways which i'll recommend is just go and change the name change the name of the column how do you do it just go to it right right click here column rename select the column and rename it as locate 
okay fine and we have applied it yeah okay so yeah as you can see we have renamed it look fine now let's change it select look up yeah and do remember the queries are not case sensitive you can just uh, see it loka if i say loka it will see it has fetched all the values from the loka column of our oil production table right so similarly what if i want to get location time of production and uh, value of production from this you can run it see as you can see you have fetched all of these data right you have fetched all of these data and that you can use for any type of analytics that you want to do now moving forward what if i want to see what are the different locations from where the table has been generated right so what if i just run the query select location from tl production as you can see there is a repetition so what you will do you if you have fetched this data in a list or in a data frame in a python file you can obviously use uh, np.unique or you can just pandas.unique you can get the data set from there but what if i want to fetch i want to fetch only the unique data from data set only so what you can do is you can use this command select distinct distinct this we select distinct location from so yeah as you can see i have fetched it and i have 142 different countries actually these these are all um, abbreviations that have been used and so yeah we have 142 rows and we have fetched it using the select distinct so you call this as a distinct query select distinct local from you can also go for select distinct location and uh, you can go for select distinct uh, distinct of uh, uh, indicator so yeah we we got only one value the reason being we have only single distinct value that has been prompted in the complete data set in the indicator call right so this is these are the two basic queries that we have learned the select statement making a select distinct statement now what uh, what else can we do here so i'll tell you how you can play over here now if i want to select oil production right value of production select value production from table so it will fetch all the values now what if i if i know that these are all in tons and i want them them not in tons i just want them in liters or something i, I can if i want to multiply it i can multiply over here only and uh, then we can run it see value production into 1000 and that is been this is what you can do while you are fetching the data can directly into your data frame or directly into your python files you can just while write, while writing your query only you can play with the data from here and you can do so yeah So as of now, we have learned two queries: select, select distinct. Now I'll be showing how do we play with the data again from here. So let's say, what if I want to fetch the data that is in a specific date range or is it a belonging to specific location? Let's say if I want to get a data from location A R M, right? So what is the query for that? so we'll write select select value product from the production where loka is equal to what do we want we want it for arm right arm so yeah <coughs> Value production in thousand for ARM, as you can see, it is zero, right? It's zero. Value production is zero. So exactly what it has fetched is value of production for location ARM. Now what if I want to fetch it for ARG? 
where location equal to a r g so it has it has fetched the value of production for that and in case just for let's say just in case you just want the analytics of this certain data that belongs to a certain country this is where you can play and now if i get all the data like if i just select my value production how many rows will i select i'll be selecting all the rows from the data set but what if i just cut down my query by using some of the conditions this is the where condition which will apply and where location equal to arg for which you have just got 18 rows and you have you just needed 18 rows for any kind of analytics right this is where you need to learn what are the different equipments that you have in sql queries so yeah select value production from it you can also you can also select different parameters what was the indicator and then uh, what was my time of production and all of those stuff and you can just run the query and you can see value of production indicator time of production everything has been fetched here you can also fetch the row which is in the condition like if i want to con fetch the location also i can just write look and then i'll and then i'll just run the query so yeah as you can see it has fetched all of this see what is the magic it is not fetching the data as it is present in your data set it is fetching the data in the sequence that you have asked it to first you have asked that select value production 2000 so it has first fetched the value production then it has fetched indicator and then subsequently it has fetched the time of production and then location but it is not the same sequence in our table right so yeah be uh, see these are very minute things that you can learn from here the way in which you write your query, the, exactly in that way you will be getting your outputs. So now moving forward, what if I want my location to be from different countries, right? Like it's DZ, A, A, L, B, O, E, U. So right, in that case, what you do where location is this and location is location is uh, o -E -E. location is so be uh, be very care careful when you are writing these queries so as you can see i have passed on a string not the same name because it will not run over here and then when we run the query uh, so yeah so yeah this is a error that has been that has occurred and i'll uh, tell you later on that why has this occurred what do we do if i want two different locations so let us sort out the issue that has caught that has been caught in that case you will use the in condition where location in location in Uh, location in ARG and OEU. So yeah, you can just pass on it, and you can add on, get on, go on adding the conditions that you need. Where location in this, and now I'll tell you what if I want data set from these countries with a third, con a second condition on value of production. What if I want the value of production to be in certain range? What if I want it to be greater than 2? Let us say I want it uh, to be greater than 2. So we'll write and value of production to greater than 2. And we'll run it. So yeah, it has fetched all of those data sets where the value of production is greater than 2. Uh, yeah, oh yeah. So yeah, it is more than two, as you can see, if I want it to be more precise, let us say we can go for 300, we can go for 300, yeah, where OEU is greater than value production is greater than 300, and then run it, yeah, so as you can see, the only location that has been fetched is OEU, because I have given the condition of value of production to be greater than 300, and that is not the case in ARG, as you can see, for ARG, if we go for ARG, yeah so value of production as you can see is very much less than 300 so it cannot fetch even a single row from here and that is what has exactly happened so let me enumerate what all we have learned we have learned select sql query we have learned a select distinct we have select we have learned where we have learned in 
now moving forward moving forward uh, what we we'll need to learn yeah now what if i want my data set to be fetched in a certain sorted manner manner right so after you have written the complete query for fetching a data now you can give the condition of ordering it so what is the query that you write we'll write order by order order by order by value of production that will be ascend order now i'll run it see value of production it's in ascending order as you can see it's in ascending order right so to yeah let us be more accurate so that we can come we can you can we can validate it from the data set yeah as you can see the data has been fetched in a ascending order the other thing that you can do is you can just fetch your data and then while you have it in your data frame you can obviously get it sorted out using the pandas command but i have just shown you that how to fetch the data directly from the data set in a order in a ordered manner right so you have we have now been how do we use order by and then you can also use between a certain range the location is this and and my value of production between two hundred and three hundred. So what will it do? It will go to our table and it will fetch the data from these two locations where value of production is between two hundred and three hundred. So let's run our query. So yeah, we have fetched the data where the value of production will be was between this range and the locations that there are two locations, but it could not fetch fetch from the second one because it could not pass the condition that the value of production should be between 200 and 300. So yeah, now we have learned the one one more condition that is between condition, and we have learned and condition. Now what if I want to fetch? So yeah. We have almost learned all of the basic queries that will be will be will be needing for any data analytics or for any machine learning concept. But what if I want to fetch from two different tables? So if you have written the condition for a single table, then you can write the condition for the second table using the union com union command. After writing union, you can just copy paste this condition. If you have any second table, I'll be writing union and just Take care that the table name over here should be changed. That the second table that you are, that you want data from, and where and all those different conditions, you can just run it. So yeah, I'm just showing you because I want to show you that how is union command used. Union command is just used to get data from union of two different tables. If I want the let's first say let's say uh, the tea oil production, I I also want the data from tea oil production. So I'll be writing tea oil product and then I'll be running a query. And in this way, we'll be getting the value from two different tables. So fine. Uh, thank you for staying connected till now, if you are. And uh, let us see you in the next video. Thank you.